Cedar Key locals say they've dealt with Mother Nature's worst before. It's hard to explain to people that don't live on the water, but if you live on it, you're going to live in it once in a while. You can see how high this water is. It's crashing over the bank, but people that live around here say they've seen it worse than this. That's why today some were not even letting the tail end of Bonnie get to them. Well, stuff flying, you know what I mean? Just what you expect, but uh, it's bearable. Darren Severino decided today would be perfect for fishing. Why not? Nobody else is fishing. Somebody's got to catch them. He and his friends say they might reconsider when Charlie shows up. I think it's something that's going to have all of our attention for the next two days. As might a lot of people on the island who will consider whether they should evacuate or stay. Keep your house, clean your house up, board your business up, and survive the once you leave the island, there's only one way on and off. That could be another issue if the island's one bridge washes out. When you choose to live by the water, occasionally you're going to live in the water. And earlier today when Bonnie was passing through, this water line I'm in front of right now was actually right up to the ledge where our camera is sitting at right now, where you're looking at me from, and it was splashing up very high. They expect even worse when Charlie shows up, but as we hear a lot of locals in Cedar Key saying they've seen the worst come to their town before. In Cedar Key, Florida, Scott Johnson, Channel 4 Eyewitness News. taped windows along Panama City Beach. What you see are a lot of people waiting, watching this storm to see what happens. Last night it was flooding just from all the rain. I think maybe it'll flood tomorrow when the storm hits, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Right now city officials don't think it will be too bad. No evacuations have been ordered at this point, and they will open two shelters just in case. Schools will be closed in the morning. For the most part, this tourist town is operating as if no storm is off the coast. I'm not too worried. They did call and say, what, evacuate if uh, it turns, turns into a hurricane. We have to leave, so, yeah. from our condo. Throughout the day, the surf kicked up, and no swimming flags lined the beach. But it didn't keep people out of the water. We did talk with lifeguards who say, so far, it hasn't been bad, but they're watching as the surf continues to grow. It's the first one of the year. We've had a real good summer. This is the first named storm of the year, I think, pretty much for us. Uh, and right now it's like a party type atmosphere, you know, but uh, unfortunately it's going to take something bad to happen to wake everybody up and hopefully that won't happen. This couple isn't sure what to do. They've left for past storms, but they say Bonnie doesn't appear to be a threat. They're more worried about what Charlie will do. We're just hoping it don't flood us out too bad. We got it all packed up and all in plastic bags. Ready to go. Oh no, put up high <laughs> for the flood. It sounds like a freight train. A tornado rips through northwest Jacksonville. Our cameras were rolling as we raced to get to safety. Debris hitting our car as we come within 150 feet of this twister. In its wake, a path of destruction and some very scared people. And all of the debris was just going around the circle. And it was getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And it was all the way down to the ground. These people were in the family dollar store. They saw the whole thing. And I just ran and grabbed those kids out of the car and told them to go in. When it went in, we looked and jumped across the street on the other side of Edgewood. The mayor says the whole city is lucky that nobody died. Uh, I will tell you the damage is far more extensive than we ever uh, thought it was and, and having toured the site with the council members and the sheriff. Now with cleanup underway, the sheriff urges people whose homes were damaged not to stay there. I, I think that's reasonable that people would be uh, you know, hesitant to, to leave their homes not knowing uh, whether they would be secure. And, and, and that's why I wanted to highlight the fact that we do have officers on the scene in those neighborhoods where structures have been most affected.